So hello and welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Rise of the dawn of the planet of the cold of the war. Of of the ops blacks. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. I mean, clearly I'm just gonna start off on regular. Let her come out with more previous experience than yeah, I'm, I'm obviously just gonna go with regular. I, I thought about Harden, but eh, whatever. I might just go back. I'll, I'll go back and play on Veteran sometime, I'm sure. Huh? Copyrighted music. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. So there's our main villains of the game. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Ah, uh, just like the first Black Ops. We're left around Alex Mason, CIA upper dude, Adler? Amsterdam, the Netherlands, January 12th, 1981. You remember this. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust stop. We don't want to let him down. All right. Hold on, I need to turn on subtitles. All right. This is smooth. Happy New Year, 1981. Greetings. Hello, sir. I am a fellow human. Pardon me, madam. I want to read. I want to read your book. Thank you. Man versus nature. Best hunting trips in the world. You can't tell me there's no collectibles here. Barnstorming. Oh, uh, Activision, of course. Duchess Blue. Now, whoever put that poster on the dartboard is a monster. Oh my god, are you serious? Didn't see me standing there? Alright, Adler, we gotta go. These people are psychos. It's police. Let's not keep Cassine waiting. Yeah, Woods, that place was crazy. Party favors are in the trunk. Sure thing. Ooh. Flex 4 grip and P5. P74U. Mm. Maybe I'll go with an MP5 as my secondary. Oh, nope, never mind, I can't do that. Monsters. AK74U. Reflex. Alright. That's fine. Let's go, Woods, but also safe. technically not Woods. A lot of safe ain't one of them. It's not a bad Woods impression, but you know. Take this son of a bitch alive, Adler. Kazim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. 
I don't know what that means. Apartments just up ahead. Tactical walk. Hans only bought us fifteen minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Lead the way. Game is loud. Steve can't escape. Find him. Mm, get a glil. Oh no, create gate. Capture. Oh, oh! Initiate a brutal melee kill or grab an enemy as a human shield. You can hold R, or you can press the right stick to initiate a takedown. Let's grab him. Pardon me, Woods. Oh. Playing a little bit of the multiplayer, so I got a little bit of the gameplay down. I'm working on it. I don't know how fast he is, or if I can actually, if he can actually get away. Whoa! Oh, sorry, Adler. Keep moving. Grenade, Jesus. It's only twenty meters away. He's bolting. Keep on him. Come on. Go, go. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Where's the Doritos? Tell us where Rosh is in your live. You mess with the wrong people. Where's the Rosh? Tell us where Rosh is. I just handle the money. I have no idea where Rosh is. I don't think you understand the situation. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. I mean, we're kind of off the record right now, pal. You're in a bad spot. You have to tell my friend something or I can't stop him from throwing you over. Okay, I'll be good, cop. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trabzon Airfield tomorrow night. Time to join your friend. We've got plenty of cars down there. Who's a rash meeting with? Oh, oh, I swear. I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. Okay, coded messages. Told you you would talk. You're coming with us. Time to join your friend. We've got plenty of cars. I mean, we might as well capture you, right? You're coming with us, pal. All right, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if you need some help looking for him. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Harash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. 
I'm assuming that's not Hudson either. Or maybe it is. It doesn't sound like him though. Turkey, Trebizond Airfield. So this was 18 hours later, it said? Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Alright. Still playing as Mason. No. Priorities to ID a rush before things go hot. Ooh. Hold on, I'm gonna look around. Make sure there's no collectibles sitting around that are plain. But I'll be replaying this definitely, because like it's a Call of Duty campaign. It's not it's not very long. I'll definitely be replaying on a veteran after I'm done with it. Mason, check it out. Switch to binoculars, right stick. Any sign of barrage? I don't know. Am I giving me a picture of him? So I can uh, tell? Uh, you gave me like a glimpse of him at the beginning. Left side. Left side? Yep, there it is. Is he in the truck? I'll keep an eye. We got like a long haired looking dude. Is that him? He looks kind of like one of the dudes. Oh, from the TV. Ooh, oh. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Alright. That was totally scripted. All right, chase sequence, here we go. Woo. Lots of bullets. Side. Hold on. Pardon me, fellas. Oh my god. Yes, sir. RC. Alright, left stick to accelerate, right stick to steal. Uh, steer, sorry. Hold left stick to boost, alright, so Halo controls. Oh! Oh god! Oh, it's okay. Nice try. You can't catch me. Hey! Oh my god. Oh! I didn't realize I was still in control there. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Did, did we get him? Hey, how's it going?
to stop him next time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Precious will watch the west, the west. He didn't Once finish his sentence. Like Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? <laughs> 1943. Jimmy. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos. By the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man as suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Ah, uh, Mr. President. Sir, sir, Mr. President, sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets all What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. That's a bit of a hefty task. Five weeks later, just jumping all over the place. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, we'll oh, no. get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. I assume that's me. I assume that, that that's Bill. I'm Bill. Up oh, here we go. So now I get to customize my character. Say hello to Magnus Kozlov. He's from Europe. Well, from Russia, technically. Uh, skin tone is one. He's a male. He's ex-KGB. While operating as a KGB agent, Bell became an asset for the CIA, eventually uh, defecting to the United States in 1965. Bell later became a full member of Russell Adler's MACV SOG team. Violent tendencies, so... 
Reliable in execution, though questionable in results, exhibits a low to medium magnitude of cognitive dissonance, so my bullet damage will be increased by 25%. My second trait is fearless, so receive explosive damage reduced by 50% will disregard threats even in the face of immediate danger. So I've got a, got an offense and a defense. So we will confirm that. Once you confirm, you will no longer be able to change your character's personnel profile. Alright, confirm. Bell, welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. I lot in Bonn. Bell, West Berlin, 1981. Hello, Park. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources with anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on the person. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with the person. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. As ex-KGB, it was a risk to bring you on, but we needed to think like them. We need that mindset again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. Alright. So use the evidence board to select the next mission. Thank you, Agent Hold on a second. Change channel. Medical supplies will be back. Ah, got a little bit of uh, football. And nothing. I hate that channel. Anything else lying around before I go to the evidence board? I'm going to need to process some of these old negatives. You can hit that whenever you're ready. Dark knows most responsible. Oh. a couple more deliveries to finish it up. What was that? Also, I feel like my FOV is like really close. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm very zoomed in. Hey, what's up, Park? You got anything to say? How are things, Bell? Interested in Vietnam stories, you look familiar we work together, anything I can help you with? Uh, have we worked together before? You and I? It's entirely possible. I have a long collaborative history with other intelligence services. Our paths have likely crossed at some point. Oh, I don't know about all that. Interested in Vietnam stories? In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. I didn't think... Uh, wait, I don't think I've talked about Vietnam in years. Anything I can help you with? Uh, I don't think I've talked about Vietnam in years. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be therapeutic. Anything I can help you with? Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Uh, what do you know of Perseus? Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. Alright, I'll leave Talk you to it. Soon. See you later. What about you, Lazar? Lazar? Bell. Oh, you got a Burger Town shirt. How long have you been with the CIA? Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Going on about five years. Uh huh. I was born in DC. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. Dual citizenship has its advantages. I'll bet. Israel? Yeah. I landed in the Israeli Defense Forces out of university. Did a tour there. After that, the Mossad. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, I'm boss man Adler over there. Well, did you know a Percy's before this mission? You probably know more than me. 
I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. So they say. Enough but uh, talk. I'm actually just an idiot. Heavy bag. Heavy bag. You know, I, I don't know how to tell you this, guys, but I actually just kind of wandered in here. I don't know anything. I'm not actually XKGB. I'm just a guy. Pretend like it's... What's his name? That guy back in Vienna. You know. Just punching the punching bag. <laughs> about Adler? Well, what do you got? A little pale. You up for this? It's just my skin tone. Also, your mouth didn't move then. I know Da Nang was rough. I'm struggling to recall Da Nang. Never been better. I'm struggling to recall Da Nang. I find that hard to believe. Maybe I just didn't get enough sleep. Coffee Bell. You're on my team. Get to know it. I need you sharp. What's up with the evidence board? Why talk about the Nang mission? Park seems familiar. What's up with the evidence board? We're placing key intel up there. One for each mission. Forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. Uh, why talk uh, about our Da Nang mission? It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. Your hair is so flappy. Park seems familiar for some reason. You just met her yesterday, right? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? I did. Maybe you and... two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, Bell. I mean, listen, I tried talking to her about it, but she was just as vague as you were. How long's this place been in use? The safe house? I've done time here before. Years back. This go-round? Just a few days now. Ask Lazar, he can't get enough of safe houses. It's pronounced Lazar, got it. So you worked with a Lazar before? Done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. Is that Don't so? Be a stranger. I must like to read books. This must be Lazar's work. Oh, what's this? Oh. Ah. I got this. They're one step ahead of me. I wonder if there's any numbers around. Clinical Record, Warren Commission, Dallas News article. What's back there? I want to know. Alright, let's just go to the evidence board. I've wasted enough time. The evidence board. Use the evidence board to select the next mission, or replay previous missions, or examine evidence. When you see this icon, new evidence is available that can assist you in the next mission and more. So, what we got? Perseus. The CIA is seeking the whereabouts and plan of the Soviet operative known as Perseus. This must be the new mission. Magnus Bell Kozlov, CIA XKGB. In 1968, the CIA, CIA orders Russell Adler's SOG team to secure a valuable asset hidden in a Denang firebase. Nowhere left to run. The president has authorized retaliatory, retaliatory hits on two Iranian terrorists, Kasim Javadi and Arash Kadavar? Kadavar? I think it's Kadavar. I'm, I'm having problems. Alright, let's launch the mission. Alright, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskin. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways.
Well, time to wake up. Morning. It's crank time. Crank time. That a euphemism for something? Hey, that peace sign. For eggs. Alvarado. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, Owens, can I, uh, can I head over there? Nope, it won't let me. Got a good feeling about today, says Adler. Uh, hold on a second, Adler. I just want to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Communications. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Name's Butcher. What does he do? Cut up cows? Maybe pigs? I don't know how many cows they got running around Vietnam, but they got plenty of pigs, I know that. Or the chopper. Hey, how's it going, Sims? Looking at a magazine. So this is just a flashback, gotcha. Headsets on. Yes, sir. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go. Copyright. Get ready for a claim. Chalk one. Let's go. Hey. hard to tell where it's coming from sometimes. It's also pretty loud. Oh god. Ugh. Oh boy. Extra damage. Pushing back, pushing back. Uh, sure thing. Keep pushing forward. Get close. Yeah, nice try. Thought you could ambush us. Ooh. 
I take less explosive damage. Nice try. Yeah, take it out. Oh. That guy's dead. Okay, get inside. See what we got. Tuh. He just jumped all the way down there. No regard for safety. Ooh. Same gun, basically. Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, it's the same gun. Just a little bit different looking. Nice try. Oh, hi there. Oh! Enjoying the shotgun. It's feeling pretty good. I'm also only playing on regular, so it's gonna be very forgiving. Looking for a needle in the haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Oh. Oh. We confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. All right. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. Anything else in here we're taking? Also, that's got a lot of attachments on it. My God. Couldn't tell if he was on the left or the right there. Nothing, nothing that I'm missing. AK, AK. God. Badger Niner One, this is Ripcord. We are still under heavy fire. BC are breaching the perimeter. What is your status? We're inbound now, Ripcord. Get that asset ready for transfer. Or the chopper. We'll keep the asset safe as long as we can. Out. Hold on. I want to look at the water. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Oh my God. Badger Niner One in the air. BC are all over the mountains. No sense here. All targets are valid. Tear them up, Bell. Getting straight into helicopter gameplay. Took like what seven missions in the first Call of Duty Black Ops to uh to get to this point. To just got that little wooden boat there. I'll get rid of that. Fuck. Whoa. Got him.
blow up all this stuff. Let's forget all about the fact that there could be civilians hiding out in these places. Explosions are cool. Indiscriminate mayhem. So I just... It's coming from, huh? Oh, right there. Helicopters not liking it. Yeah. We're gonna take him out real good. There's one. Up, up, two. Uh, excuse me, don't fire at me. Badger Niner 1, this is Ripcord. You need to push back the VC reinforcements before we're overrun. Oh. Be advised, we have multiple birds in the air. Watch your fire. Enemy dug in all around the hillside. We don't have a hope in hell of landing if we don't take out those positions. Light them up. Take them out from a distance. They can't hit us. Oh boy. How about you stop shooting? Alright, let's take out this approaching force. Now. Yeah! Base ripcord. No oh, cows like are they gonna make me do it manually or are they gonna do it for me? Good thing they did it for me. The base is still hot, so watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Oh thank boy. You. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just sang us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. T pulls it out to look at it. You know, this this is for when we get desperate, of course. But then we're gonna get desperate and it's gonna make everything go horribly wrong. And of course. This is disorienting. Oh, oh my God! We need air support. Bell, call it in. Yep, on it. Grab a weapon. Keep them the fuck off us. Let's start shooting. Hey, an M60. Yeah, this thing's not great if it's not mounted, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Where's that air oh god. J 
Jack of all trades, skill 5, beach with an LG SMG AR and a shotgun. I see you. Oh god. Hold on. God. Those are RPGs. I'm trying to reload. Ah! Oh. Still with us? Oh, napalm. Or maybe it's just an airstrike. My God. Oh, is this how his face gets burned? Nope, not yet. You think we can call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. <laughs> More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. 